Hi everyone, very good evening. MC Tamarasan here from Chennai Event Professionals, Chennai Event MCs and Chennai Event Entertainers. Event MC, MC Trainer, MC Manager and Founder of the above brands. Today live is exclusively going to be for the Event Professionals and to be more precise, it's uh, exclusively for Event MCs uh, uh, because uh, creating a profile is very much needed for Event MCs. So whenever I post some requirements, uh, uh, before I, I talk about that, I would like to say uh, uh, why event, event MC profile is very important. Uh, when you want to get into media, your portfolio, that is your photos are very important. Uh, same way when you want to apply for a job, your resume, your curriculum, whatever, by data, that's important. Same way if you're an event anchor profile, that is either it's a PPT or PDF or um, a publisher, word file, whatever it is. But a profile is very important for an event anchor. Because whenever a client approaches or an event manager approaches uh, you for an event, the first thing he, would, he or she would ask you is for the profile. So when I started posting the requirements, most of the time, uh, especially uh, Pan India, like uh, out of Chennai or other states, uh, a lot of budding MCs, uh, they used to message me with their um, photos, not with a proper profile. When I ask them for profile, they either say that I don't have a profile or I don't know how to create a profile or I don't have much photos or videos to update. And also some senior MCs, when I see their profile, uh, either they have some mistakes or they have the very old photographs, which they have not updated. When I ask them, they say that, um, uh, it's a long time since I updated the profile or uh, some of my friends did it or the, the designer who did it is not doing it anymore and they don't update their profile at all. So today I'm going to talk about how you can update your profile in PPT that is Microsoft PowerPoint uh, which is very very simple. Uh, for persons who are little technical it's pretty simple. Those have never used MS Office, MS Excel or uh, uh, what, what I, or MS Word or PPT. It may be a little tougher for you. You need to learn it in a proper way. But if you are a person who have already used PowerPoint, Excel or Word file, definitely this would be easy for you to update your profile. So the topic is how to create a profile or um, use, use of PowerPoint profile more than saying how to create a profile because I'm not going to talk much about how to create it. Rather, I'm going to share with you what are the main advantage of having a profile in PPT. So before that, I've already done a lot of lives regarding creation, uh, creating a profile. You can search in Google or, or in YouTube or I can uh, ping you the links if you ask me personally. First video what I have done is how to create a profile and what are the elements should be there. I have explained it's a 15 minutes video explaining my profile and what all the elements should be in a profile. And later I have explained another live uh, explaining what are the different formats of a profile like PDF, PPT and there is something called a slide share where you can store your profile online. You can use your Facebook page website. Those are the thing uh, background of the profile creation. Now coming to the topic. What is the main use of uh, PPT profile? First thing. Instead of sending so many pictures or so many text content or uh, lengthy uh, messages in WhatsApp, you can put everything in a single PPT and you can send the PPT attached. Usually PPT size would come to 2 MB or 3 MB or when you're, when you're going to have a huge profile, it comes to 15 to 20 MB. If you're going to send it in email uh, or in Gmail or Yahoo, uh, maximum up to 25 MB is allowed. So make sure that your profile uh, when you do it in PPT, uh, it's lesser than 25 MB. Ideal size would be 10 to 15 MB so that uh, because some of the corporate, when you send it to official mail ID, they have the restriction 10 to 15 MB uh, for the mail size. So if you send something uh, beyond that, uh, if the file size is huge, huge than that, uh, it bounce or bounce back. So always make sure that your profile is lesser than 10 MB, especially when you create in PDF or PPT, uh, PPT format. So that's the first thing. You can put all your pictures, all your text content into the PPT. And it can be edited anytime. That's very important. A lot of people, when you do it with a designer, they give you the finishing product, which is the PDF file. Like I said, when, when we find mistakes or when you find the old pictures in the PDF, the MCs cannot make the change in a PDF and everyone is aware of that. You cannot change content in PDF. You need to go back to the original file, whether it's a PPT or a Microsoft Publisher or Microsoft Word. You need to change in the original file and then convert it as a PDF. So when you get a PDF file from your designer or your friend who has designed it, always try to get the raw file, whatever they have worked on. That's uh, important for you. So importance of uh, PPTR, you can uh, include pictures, you can include text, you can add links, which is called as the hyperlinks. For example, you can have a picture there or you can have your Facebook link, you can add your YouTube links, you can add your phone number. When you click on that, it can take you to the, your YouTube, it can take uh, take um, take the client to client of the event manager to your Facebook profile. So hyperlinks are very important in a PPT. Uh, you can add hyperlinks also and then you can rotate the picture. You have a wonderful option in PPT when you insert a picture or when you insert text you have the option to rotate it so if the image is already tilted you can correct it or if you want to keep a image in a tilted way you can do that also you can add background to your slides like background can be uh, opaque that is it can be complete solid or it can be transparent also like you can um, adjust the transparency of the background 
for example when i created my page uh, i am here to express myself not to impress anyone the coach page in my facebook uh, probably can search for that also i use uh, almost 90% uh, of the pictures used are my own pictures or the pictures what i have shot in my camera or my mobile so i use that as the background and then i write the quote on top of that i keep the image in a transparent way so that the content is easy to read yes uh, this remind me reminds me a point whenever you do your profile always make sure that the content is legible and it's easily readable um biggest mistake what most of the mcs or most of the professionals any other professionals who is who is using ppt is they try to go for fancy fonts and they go to they try different different colors when when it's seen by someone the viewer uh, they should be it should be very easy for them to read they shouldn't strain their eyes to read it so make sure that the font size are ideal enough good enough to read and the fonts are not so fancy it's not too inclined or too cursive or make sure that it's readable and also make sure the contrast is important because if you have a background if you have dark background probably the font can be a lighter color or if you have the lighter background the font color can be a black i mean the opposite a contrast one so these are the uh, main key pointers when you create a ppt profile so once again let me sum up uh, 50% of what we have gone in this slide because i have 50 more percent to cover in this so the usage of ppt is you can include pictures you can include text you can include links which is otherwise called as the hyperlinks you can rotate the pictures you can use a background these are the importance of ppt and very important thing you can edit it any time unlike pdf profile and now once i have created a ppt why, the reason why i ask you to work on ppt is once i have done it you can convert it as image you can convert it as a pdf you can convert it as a slideshow like powerpoint presentation they call it as pps file or any other format what you want majorly uh, in the event industry will be using the pdf profile or pps the slideshow uh, most of the time mcs or the event managers they don't send the ppt profile rather they convert it as a slideshow presentation they set the timer all those things so once you send it once the client opens and click it automatically it goes on the timer so that they did not click click it that's called as the powerpoint uh, slideshow which is called as a pps format so how to make that if, if any of the mcs watching this live if you already have a ppt profile and you want some corrections to be made and there is a small disclaimer certain corrections cannot be made like image for example, if you have your opening uh, page uh, where your picture is there and you have some text content over there, which is already grouped as a single image, you cannot change that. In PPT, when you make it, uh, you will insert a picture and then you will insert a text box. So I'm just sharing some of the techniques uh, or some of the uh, basics of using a PPT. If you want to insert a picture, there is an option called as insert picture. And then you need to uh, insert the picture from wherever you have it in local, right? If you want to add some text, you, have, you should go to insert text box and then you need to type it. So these are the two basic things you'll be using it. If you want to use an hyperlink, uh, then select the text and then click right click and you get the option called as insert hyperlink. Then you need to give the address or the link to which it has to be linked. So these three are the main things you'll be using in uh, PPT. Image, text and hyperlink. So I have explained you how to use that. Now, if you already have a PPT profile where you want to make some changes, same thing, open the PPT. If you want to remove any image, uh, delete that image and then go for insert picture. Or if you want to correct something like if you have an image and if you have the text in the same thing, then you can correct the text. But uh, if the image and uh, text, everything is grouped together in a Photoshop or in a paint, uh, and definitely you need to replace the image completely. So you need to take the help of your designer who has done that, or probably you need to take a new image and then you can uh, uh, include text box. Having known this in this uh, video, in this live video, how to add a text box in your um, PPT. So you can do it by yourself. You can add one of your pictures, then go for insert text box, uh, type the content, and you can make it a little fancy, not too fancy. You can go for different fonts, like uh, the traditional fonts are Times New Roman and Arial, which has been used uh, throughout. But if you go, you want to go for a little uh, more um, a fancy font, you can try some of, uh, at times I use Lucida calligraphy or Lucida handwriting. And also I go for a few other fonts. Probably you can check my profile also. So these are the big basics of creating a PPT. And once it's done, if you want to make it a PDF, go to File, Save, Other Formats. There you'll find a lot of formats where you can select PDF, save it as PDF. So it uh, gets converted as PDF. That's first thing. Second, if you want to convert each and every slide to your image, like what I've done once my PPT is created, I converted all the slides into image so that I can upload it in my Facebook as an album. So there is an album in my Facebook uh, profile or in my page, which is called as MC Thumbrasen portfolio, which has around 35 images of mine, which is already in the PPT. I cannot upload PPT in Facebook album. So what I did, I converted all the uh, slides into images. So all you need to do is go to file, save as, click other formats, and you will find a lot of formats where you can select JPEG. Once you have done that, once you click OK, it will ask for current slide or the entire slides. 
if you want to convert the entire ppt into images uh, select as all slides or if you want to convert only one image or one slide select as current slide so these are the very basic things of a ppt now i'm going to touch uh, one more important point uh, I said about the hyperlink, but uh, when we create, uh, especially the MCs in Chennai or Tamil Nadu, when we create, we always create two types of profile. One is a profile with all our contact information like phone number, email address, Facebook links, YouTube links. Another profile without any of the contact information. When I say contact information, it includes phone number, email, Facebook links or any social media link and YouTube as well. YouTube links are also considered as a contact information because if you have the YouTube link, a client, they can click the YouTube link, they can go to your YouTube channel, they can take your phone number or email from there and they can contact you. So in order uh, to prevent that, to prevent someone bypassing and coming to you, because when your profile is sent to a proper MC manager or an event manager, client should come through the proper channel. I've already discussed this in previous lives also. So in order to avoid all those things, uh, make sure that you have one of your profiles uh, without the contact information and other profile with all the contact information, which you can share to your direct clients. When you get a direct client, uh, you have all rights to share with information so that they get to know more about you. So uh, use these two techniques. One is without contact info. Second one is with contact info and start using image, text, link, uh, hyperlink, uh, or if you want to rotate, if you want to use the background, if you want to convert it into image, if you want to convert it into PDF or PPS file or any other format, you can do it. Top of all these things, any time you can edit it. You have a profile ready today. In the next two weeks or next two days, you have done some new event. You want to add the photograph. You can do it all by yourself without depending on anyone else. So that's it for now. If you have any questions on this, uh, feel free to contact me on my mobile number 9003087198. And uh, if you want to learn complete thing about uh, creating a PowerPoint uh, presentation, if you are not aware of how to use it, uh, uh, definitely I'm not a right person. You can learn it from MS Office. You can join a computer course or you can learn it from a friend also. I do teach it, but not for outsiders. I, I have it as a model in my MC training or during my MC induction, I will uh, have it as a session. Every uh, every week or once in every two weeks, we conduct MC training induction program and in which uh, every week we have a topic. One week I discuss about profile, another week we discuss about uh, using MS Paint for editing and one of the weeks I will be discussing how to create a PPT profile, uh, what are the basics of creating a PPT. So you need not wait until that. Um, if you are very serious about your MC business, please create a profile. All these budding MCs, all the amateur MCs, please make sure you create a profile. Even if you have done one event or two events or if you have gone as a post or gone as a trainee start updating it please do watch my other video how to create a profile that will help you to create the profile start building in your profile don't say that don't keep sending 10 or 20 images in whatsapp most of the time event managers or the clients will not download it so put everything together in a ppt as an alternate to ppt i will suggest you you can do it in ms word also but uh, you you need to do a little bit of formatting work over there you can do that in ms word also do it in ms word finally convert it as pdf same way go to file save as uh, pdf and that, that will always look neat more than um, MS Word when you put it in PDF, it's always a finished uh, product and a few of you may not be knowing that even in PDF you can have links. So when you have it in PPT or in MS Word, when you convert it into PDF, you still have the links active so that when you click that link in PDF, it takes you to either your YouTube or your Facebook profile. That's it for now. Please feel free to contact me or this is MC Tamarasan signing off from Chennai Professionals. Good night. Stay blessed.